What is going on guys, it is your boy Too Fast Too Slick here, and today I'm bringing you guys a brand new video on Infinite Warfare. Today's topic is going to be about jitter mods. Jitter mods, if you guys don't know what a jitter mod is, or if you're new, like you don't know what it is, like you've never heard of it, a jitter mod is basically a gun, not a gun, <laughs> it's something that helps you uh, like to use semi-automatic guns that makes them pretty much automatic or super super close to being automatic or sometimes even faster than being automatic um yes if you saw well if you're watching this now you saw those clips i put in before this before this commentary and stuff and you can see it's absolutely op those shotguns that you were seeing there they were not automatic they weren't even semi-automatic they're like that you actually shoot them once and that's it you have to reload them they go you like to have to flip them and then then you can shoot again like they don't shoot that fast there's, there's not even they don't even shoot half that fast like it's absolutely insane um so the problem with jitter mods they had them in bo3 i think in bo3 they really started getting popular and then iw some people use them i i don't see them quite often but a lot of people still use them i've heard a lot of people still complain i mean World, if World War II has jitter mods, which they shouldn't, they should really learn from these Call of Duties because in BO3, like I said, they had jitter mods, people complained. IW, they still have jitter mods and they still haven't fixed it, people complained. In BO3, they already fixed it, but they were a little bit too late. They fixed it after the new Call of Duty came out, which is IW, which is the game I'm on now. They fixed it too late, but at least they fixed, they, lear they learned from it, and I think it's the first game. I I'm not going to say it was the first game that actually had jitter mods, but it was the first game that I feel jitter mods actually became popular, and now it's in IW or Infinite Warfare. And um, Infinite Warfare... I don't know if the developers or whatever are aware of this, but I'm pretty sure they are because a lot of people run into them. Um, a lot of my friends know, like, everybody uses them. Not everybody uses them, but, like, the people that use them, people complain. And I'm pretty sure at least a couple of people have reported it to, like, the developers or the people that are, like, into the game or, like, made the game or whatever. But, yeah. If they have World War II jitter mods... Which they shouldn't because I, if they don't fix it by then, man, like it's it's just too much. They should learn from the other Call of Duties. Like I said, it's just it's just too much to deal with. Using a gun that's not supposed to be automatic, like it's just it's cheating. Like as you can see from those clips, I, w I had no chance. I had no chance. The first clip, I had no chance of killing him because it was a close quarter gun fight and he had automatic shotguns. Like, you can't beat automatic shotguns. I don't care who you are. Like you can't beat them, especially if they're like. The bullets are going everywhere, the pellets are going everywhere, but whatever. But yeah, hopefully they don't have World War II jitter mods. I'm making this video just to like people being aware that there still is jitter mods in IW, which I don't think people forgot, but if you haven't ran into them, like they're out there for sure. So keep a lookout on that. And um, yeah, if you guys do enjoy this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. This is a nuclear gameplay, so you can stay to the rest of this video. It's not that long of a video now that I'm, I'm going to end talking. We're going to stop talking now, but... If you want, you can stay to the end. Please like, comment, subscribe if you do enjoy, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. Say it's been slick. Mission accomplished. I did not doubt you for a second.